John Malkovich has played some of the most sinister and disturbing characters seen on the silver screen. From a serial seducer in Dangerous Liaisons. I see I shall have to make myself very plain. I have come to spend the night. You are James Carney. A psychotic killer in In the Line of Fire. <laughs> to a plane hijacker in Con Air. His choice of parts has earned this Oscar-nominated actor a cult following. One Hollywood screenwriter was so fascinated by Malkovich, he wrote a movie, Being John Malkovich, imagining life inside the actor's head. I have been to the dark side. I have seen a world that no man should see. A self-confessed workaholic, Malkovich has also built himself a reputation as a successful writer, producer, and director, and enjoys acting in the theater. He's currently playing a serial killer in a play called The Infernal Comedy. I started by asking Malkovich if he worries about being typecast as a villain. You know, you have to remember when you're an actor, you, you, you're chosen for things. Um, I don't know, I'm not, I, I'm not often, uh, often offered the kind of goody two-shoes parts. How do you maintain a sense of control over whatever it is you want to achieve for your career um, as opposed to say what others project onto you i like to do the things that i like to do the things that interest me if that upsets or or disappoints people that that makes me sad but not that sad i follow the things that interest me um it may not be, um, you know, the most brilliant career, and uh, I'm sure I've done tons of things that I should not have done in retrospect, mm. but there are very few things I did cynically. What are you most proud of? Of Which character do you believe you're most proud of? I'm not sure I'm capable of that sentiment, really. Really? I don't think so. Do you ever look back and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, is there yeah. one in particular? Oh, there's there are thirty. Really? You know. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, because you don't know when you. Then how do you get over that? I, I'm I'm very used to failure, and uh, uh, I mean, f failure kind of rides shotgun for me, and and uh, I'm very used to it, and it's okay. You have almost no control over what a movie is once you act in it. They can do absolutely anything with it. And that can be good or bad, but it's, it's not my problem, really. I want to ask you some of our um, viewer questions, uh, viewers of uh, Connect the World. Lorraine asks, uh, what other parts have you always wanted to play, and who are some of the other actors you would love to work with? Uh, parts that interest me come by quite often. I don't particularly have some sort of dream role if I had thoughts like that, it'd be more as a director, perhaps. Uh, and as far as actors, I'd like to work with, oh, there's so many fantastic actors. Is there one actor you'd love to direct? And you haven't had the opportunity to? Yeah, there are people like, say, Bruno Gans. Mm, I would love to direct, or, oh, there's so many. I, I mean, there's so many. I've been incredibly lucky. For me, there's nothing that pleases me more than, than sitting either in, a, in an audience or behind a camera and watching a, a wonderful actor or actress perform. Sads asks, what are your thoughts on the film industry's obsession with 3D movies? And uh, yeah, what, what do you think about that? I just did one. I did Transformers 3 will open in Moscow yeah. in a few days, but I haven't seen it. So, and I didn't see Avatar. I, I don't know that I've seen more than one or two 3D movies. Now the movie audience is a super young audience. Very few, very few adults or say middle-aged people like, like myself uh, go to movies. I don't know. I had a blast working with Michael Bay. I had a great time working with Robert Zemeckis on one of those motion capture films. Both experiences were, were very interesting. I don't mind technological things. You know, movies, the, it already is that. Um, 
that's that's absolutely inescapable. So, if it's a little bit more technological or a little bit less, it doesn't bother me.